Or do you come to church and play church, and when you go outside, you're a different person? Are you a witness this morning? Worship the Lord. Let me hear you worship the Lord. Hallelujah. I am a witness. Bless the Lord. Brother Gary. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My soul is a witness. No matter what's going on or what's happening, my soul is a witness. No matter how sick my body is, my soul is a witness for the Lord. I mean, for the past couple of weeks, I've been going through a lot. And I learn, and I understand that word, I am determined, what that means. It's not that I'm determined to be perfect, because in my humanity, I cannot be. I'm perfect through Christ. But I'm determined that every time I fall down, I will stand again and I will rise again, because I serve a living Savior, and he's in the world today, and he gives me the victory. No matter, it says failure is not, is not optional. Okay? We may fail, but remaining a failure is no option. I will rise again because I serve a living God. Praise the Lord today. Are there any first-time visitors in the house with us today? Please stand. All first-time visitors. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Any other shy first-time visitors? I know of it. <laughs> Over oh, that side, any shy first time visitors? Stick your hand up if you don't want to stand up. Remain standing, please. I want you to know that you are here for a purpose today. It's not by chance that you are here worshiping with us today. And remember, when, you, when we're here in the house of the Lord, and I'm speaking for myself as well, the expectation, your purpose is worship. Come with a heart of worship, and everything else will be added on to you. Come with a heart of worship. On behalf of our Bishop Wisdom, Henry Wisdom, Clayton Henry Wisdom, and our First Lady, and our pastors, and our deacon, and our congregation, we would like to greet you by saying, Welcome to the house of peace and blessing. Again, welcome to the house of peace and blessing. And it's a blessed blessing and a pleasure to have you worshiping with us today. Those that are close to them, reach over and greet them with a good, warm Central New Testament welcome. Praise the Lord. Okay, let me get to some announcements. Ladies' ministry meeting and devotional time, tea time, will be September 13th, 2013 at 7 p.m. That's ladies' ministry meeting, September 13th, um, 7 p.m. The single ladies will be having a picnic. Single ladies, I don't want to ask you to put your hand up. <laughs> single ladies will be having a picnic on Saturday, September 14th at 4 p.m. at 3860 Island Drive in Riviera Beach. That's the single ladies picnic at, on September 14th at 4 p.m. at the 3860 Island Drive in Riviera Beach. Beach. I have the Church of God New Life Worship Center. I have a letter here. Warm Christian greetings. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. I write to invite you and your congregation to our annual parade of choirs, which will be held on October 5th, 2013 at 7 p.m. We are requesting an item from our choir, our group, um, our choir group. So, so what we would like is to have our youth choir um, represent us here at the Church of God New Life Worship Center on October 5th. Greater Bay Palm Beach Church of God, you are and your congregation are cordially invited to our faith celebration rally on on, it's at 2013, on September 7th at 6.30 p.m. Please join us as we prepare to do an unparalleled history-making rally. So the Greater Palm Beach Church of God, they're having a rally on September 7th at 6.30. All men, all members of the men choir will have you representing um, us there. Please meet with Brother Gary 
after church. I think over here would be great. So all members of the men choir, please meet with Brother Gary after church today. Remember, we normally have um, Monday, um, Monday Bible reading and Wednesday praise and worship, but this week we will be having prayer um, from Monday through Wednesday and uh, at 7.30, and we'll also be having noonday prayer and fasting as usual um, on Thursday. So whomever can make it out for noonday prayer and fasting, um, come out on Thursday, but we will be having We'll be praying Monday through Wednesday. And I hope to see everybody back tonight as well. We, we're having, if you're here Friday and Saturday, oh my goodness, if you weren't here, you really missed something. It was wonderful. It was wonderful. And it, you're, you're sure to be blessed. And also, the Women Conference will be October um, 5th to the 9th, that's Women Conference. So women, we're, you, it's a lot of time you have to plan your schedule to be here for the Women Conference. May 5th to the 9th, it will be Evangelist Jennifer Porter Cox. October, sorry. You see how much time you have? <laughs> see how much time you have? October 5th to the 9th, Jennifer, Evangelist Jennifer Porter Cox. And there will be workshops on Saturday with Minister Marlene Hunter, Sister Hazel Samuels, and Sister Pauline Sterling. So get excited for that, and I'm looking forward to seeing all of you back here tonight as well, and let's have a wonderful time in the Lord tonight. May God bless you. I'll hand it over to my pastor. Amen. Praise the Lord, somebody. I, I can tell you, you're looking good down there. Everybody looks good, look like all bills are paid, body don't know pain, and uh, everything is looking good. God is good, amen? God is a good God. We started out this youth convention on, on Friday, and uh, Bishop Lee from uh, Daytona Beach preached for us Friday night and last night. And those of you who are here for those two nights, let me hear you give us a praise God, hallelujah. Hallelujah. God. It was good. Last night he preached about stuck at the gates. My God, how many that are here today can say sometimes you stuck at a point and you don't know where to go. Amen. But my God, God is a good God. Yes. He know how to get us move, amen? amen? This year we have teamed up two powerful young men to speak in this youth convention. Friday and Saturday was Bishop Lee, and he will be coming back tonight to close off tonight. And then we bring Prophet McCray and uh, he did it, the concert, the, the rally, uh, sorry, the convention last year. Were you able to listen to Prophet McCray last year? Yeah. Amen. And he is with us this morning, and uh, we're very happy to have him. And uh, he's not only by himself this morning, but his father is with him. I went into the office, I was talking to is that, and I said that we have more than what to be grateful for because you know how many fathers are standing looking through a window and watch their son go to the gas chamber. How many fathers are to stand up before the judge and hear the sentence is being placed on their son? Today, his father can stand up and say, I am happy that my son is a man of God. Isn't that wonderful? God is a good God, amen? I'm gonna ask Prophet McCray, Father, to come and greet you at this time. Praise God. This is a little uh, 
I wasn't planning on doing anything. I just came really to support my son. Uh, years ago, when uh, I recognized and, and realized that my son had a call and an anointing on him, uh, it was at like about five years old. His mother laid hands on him, and he, and he got filled with the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in tongues. He was at only five. And being a man, I really, really wasn't in the church life like I should have been. And, and, uh, but I prayed and asked God, I said, I want to bring my children up in a way that they would know the Lord and that I would know the Lord. He said, first of all, you need to know him. You need to know me so they can know me in a way that they should. Because you're the father, you're the head, you're the prophet, you're the priest of your home. And uh, hallelujah. So, so you fathers, remember, you are the prophet, the priest of your home. If you take that leadership role, don't give it to your wives. It's not theirs. It's yours. And I don't want to take up too much time. But so I just prayed and then God just took me to a place where I could grow. This is a place that I can say, I, I, I know in my spirit that you can grow here. The pastor and his wife, I, I only, really only known them, it's about a year, maybe two years, but our spirits have been entwined for about eight years. I came to this building about eight years ago with my wife. We were looking for a charter school, a place to put a charter school. And one of the members of the, of the church here, uh, Miss Hazel, told my wife about it. So we came, we were looking around the place. And I said, wow, I didn't know this, this church was even back here. And I just, and I came and I just, I was at, at awe. And I just felt the Holy Spirit just move over this place. It was, so, so, it was so dramatically. We were just coming looking for a place to, to start a charter school, classrooms or whatever. And I came into the sanctuary and, and I just, and I, and I began to weep because I just felt the glory of God here. I really did. And I never met the pastor. I, I didn't know anything about it, but I just knew there was something about this place. So fast forward, my son said, Dad, I'm preaching at church in Magonia Park. Can you come? Well, of course. My son asked me, I'm coming because it's, it's my job. And as soon as I walked in, I said, God is faithful. Amen. God is truly faithful. And for you all to have a pastor named Wisdom, <laughs> do you know that that's, that's no accident? Really, it is no accident. It, it might be like a little cliche, like, like a lawyer, oh, yeah, Pastor Wisdom. But, but no, it's no, it's no accident. And each time I speak to this man, I, I'm always getting something imparted to me, some little nugget. Like we were talking in the back room back then, we just began to talk about uh, our children and how God had, oh, how, how he was so happy that his daughter and his son were, you know, were, were in, the, in the church and, and I was likewise with me also. And it was just like, wow, this is good. So my name is Ron McCray. Prophet Aaron is my son, but when he's ministering, he's a prophet, I'm his servant. When he's home, he's my son. <laughs> but he's a good guy. So God bless you all. Thank you for letting me come and share with you today. And uh, I love this place. I, I just feel the presence of, of the Lord here. And I just thank the pastor and his wife for having us, having me here. And God bless you. Thanks. Amen. Tell your little secret, Prophet McCray said, I'm a grown man, I don't live with him. <laughs> Glad to have Sister Wisdom this morning, amen. Reverend Joseph, wave your hand. Reverend Alawa Youth, Pastor, wave your hand. Reverend Hunter, and we have Deacon Wilson. God is good, amen. God is a good God. Now I'm gonna ask you tonight to remember that we start at 6 30 tonight the man of god is coming in tomorrow tonight driving in and uh we want to be ready now this is youth convention 
we need we need all our young people to be in the house tonight amen every young person must be in the house tonight i'm going to ask you young people tonight come out tonight in your great numbers invite your friend come out tonight and uh, let us form a battalion tonight and put the enemy on our manners you afraid of that yes by our honor the spirit of god we can put him to flight amen put him to flight amen so we're going to ask you to come back tonight at 6 30 and let us get started on time now you notice that we have two speakers that have been lined up you know what we how we treat our speakers that come into us to bless our heart and therefore we're going to ask you tonight to bring in your envelopes tonight pray and ask the lord to set aside a special seed faith offering that as we sow in as they sow into our life we can sow back into their ministry amen, amen. so we're going to ask you to be praying about that tonight god bless you richly we're here for a wonderful time with the lord we have 50 minutes left in which to do what we, we need to get done and get the man of god on so that we can get a chance to come back on time this evening to receive the man of God who is coming in from Daytona. God bless you. Have a blessed night. Bye-bye. Bless the Lord. And this time we're going to have the children church choir to come minister to us. Amen.
They are our leaders for tomorrow. Bless the Lord. Through you, I can do anything. I can do all things, because nothing is impossible through Christ. At this time, we're going to have our um, youth group come to us.
speaker, but before she comes, I'd like all of us to stand. your hands together. He is not a stranger to Central. Please put your hands together for Prophet Aaron McCray. Lift those hands to the Lord. Everyone lift those hands. Come on, lift those hands. Open up your mouths and just declare the goodness of the Lord. Come on, open up your mouth and declare how wonderful he is. Come on, you can do better than that. Come on, he's a great God. You ought to declare his majesty. You ought to declare his power. Oh, I feel the power of God getting ready to move in this place today. Somebody came today because they need a touch from Calvary. Somebody came today because they need God to move. I know this is the youth convention, but we're here today to gather in his name to give him praise. To give them all to give them. I wish I had a church that would open up their mouths and magnify the God of their salvation. Come on, there ought to be a sound of praise, ought to be a sound of worship on your lips. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on, open up your mouth and magnify it. 